Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about factions because there have been a lot of words that factions does not have the uh, like importance in the game and in my opinion that's totally wrong. Factions are really important. It decides what kind of gameplay you are going to play so let's speak about them more in details right at first let's discuss factions as you are just a beginner you are just starting the game which faction you would want to have as a beginner we're gonna discuss every single faction like we have only three for now we are hoping to have more but still for the beginners let's discuss every single faction right spring wardens spring wardens i understand that main hero is the gwenwin which is marksman but it's easy to make a mistake whenever you see the starting hero marksman you think that spring wardens is marksman faction that's totally wrong spring wardens is more cavalry faction simply because you have to look at the special unit of this faction which is forest eagle which is cavalry melee flying unit that absolutely means that this uh, spring wardens are cavalry main faction and if you are playing as a spring wardens you kind of have to uh, play with cavalry especially if you are a to play player you have to utilize every single detail which game is going to give you as a free to play player so don't make this mistake i understand it's easy to make the mistake whenever you see a starting hero as a marksman uh, peacekeeping precision you might think that it's a marksman and faction but it's not regarding faction bonuses legion march speed again one more buff which is saying that it's all about cavalry because cavalry is utilized around march speed right elixir production speed can be nice but not for the beginners not for the free to play players it's generally more for the late game and for more more to the pay to win players regarding league of order that looks like more familiar because let's say starting faction is Walder, a magic PvP skill, absolutely amazing talents for the mage hero. And here we have a connection because special unit of the League of Order is Celestials, which has magic ranged flying uh, traits. This is like most uh, free to play friendly uh, like faction in the game, especially if you are starting the game. That's the uh, faction you are going to go simply because uh, you have magic units you have magic units as a celestials which has a highest range and trust me if you are just beginner and you want to have fun in this game and you are not going to spend any money for this game you want to have the longest range because if you will go melee against pay to win players you are going to be simply destroyed regarding like faction bonuses legion magic defense pretty good uh, buff because um, league of order is ab all about magic uh, units and magic heroes which is is giving us more benefit as a three percent overall gathering speed 10 percent amazing buff uh, as a free to play player as a beginner uh, i would want to have as much gathering speed as possible because later you are going to the game it's getting harder and harder for you to farm because you want to participate in wars you want to have fun fighting against enemy alliances so farming having a lot of resources is really mandatory especially for free to play players so league of order if you are just starting the game amazing choice you will be happy like even it's a late game i i think like a lot of even pay to win players are still choosing league of order because of the special unit celestials and of course for the beginners Wilder is one of the best epic heroes in the game the next one is wilderberg and yet again one of one a one more confusing faction because starting hero is a bahar it's an infantry garrison skill hero but uh it might think you might think that uh, like wilderberg is infantry faction but it's not like we we simply have to click on special unit which is wyron riders and you're gonna see that it's marksman range flying uh special unit uh i understand it might be confusing like you see infantry hero as a starting hero 
when you might think that Wilderberg is infantry uh, specialized faction, but it's not. If you want to play marksman, I'm a marksman main, and that's why I'm playing with Wilderberg. If you want to play as a marksman, if you want to be archer, and I need to mention that archers does not have the longest range. Longest range in this game has only mages. Um, we are going to play as a Wilderberg, right? Uh, let's speak about faction bonuses. Uh, Legion physical attack, uh, 3% in general. Physical attack is not that easy to get in this game and every single percentage which you're gonna get from the uh, factions in terms of physical attack is amazing. Plus, Marksman has the highest physical attack in the game, so it will be really, really useful for you. Destruction engineering means that whenever you are going to destroy enemies' buildings, your legions will be faster for 10%, which is kinda useless if you ask me. That's not the main idea <clears throat> about this game simply because uh, destroying the enemy towers or enemy fortresses is more specialized simply with the alliance members more members you will go more members will move their marches to that point faster you're gonna destroy destroy the enemy uh, towers so let's conclude for the beginners for the players who are just starting the game which faction you have to go in my opinion that's simply only two options league of order uh, it's like too much free to play friendly also we have a combination of Walder as a mage player, mage, mage hero and celestials, as the one of the best mage special units in the game and if you want to go with the marksman, which is second the most free to play uh, friendly legion type in the game, you are going with the Wilderberg and you are playing with the uh, Wyverns. The third choice would be the Spring Wardens, because I think cavalry players are the weakest uh, in the game, if you are not tier 5 player of course, so the for the beginners, Spring Wardens would be my last choice now it's time for us to speak about the special units because special units is the main idea about uh, factions in this game it's not about starting hero like as a rise of kingdoms or any other uh, kingdom builder game in call of dragons special units are the most important factor for the uh, faction specialized playstyle for the spring wardens we have Forest Eagles, which is cavalry uh, melee flying units, uh, they are good because they are moving around the map, like they they are like flying over some mountains, so you don't have any other place where you can't go with the forest eagles and if we're gonna compare forest eagles to any other special units in the game they are faster uh, and they can engage and go backwards in the battlefield well in my opinion forest eagles are weakest uh, still uh, in terms of other special units in the game because uh, i think for the forest eagles to be utilized is like whenever you are not, not fighting against alliances whenever you are going for the farms whenever you are fighting like two versus two one versus one or you want to just catch the enemy who are surrendering on the battlefield and they are running at home that's why it's not that free to play friendly special unit uh, you have to be cavalry player you have to have cavalry uh, technology te technology um, like uh, leveled up in order for you to utilize forest eagle in the perfect way and also you have to kind of have foreign deal as your main hero for the forest eagles to work because Forondil is a main uh, legendary hero for the Spring Wardens faction special units which are Forest Eagles. Let's move on, let's uh, speak about League of Orders uh, special unit which is Celestials and yet again Celestials are the best uh, special unit in the game. Uh, they are not the fastest in terms of uh, march speed but they are having a huge amount of damage uh, simply because like you can see everything about League of Order is about mages. You are getting mage de defense buff if you're gonna simply upgrade the technology of the uh, mage units you're gonna give buff to your special unit which is uh, celestials right one more big thing about celestials is simply that we have a lot of mage legendary heroes even epic ones which will be working 100 percent well for celestials if we're gonna say like the newest mage hero which is bertrand bertrand and thea is amazing uh, bertrand with uh, uh, atheus is amazing even atheus with thea will be fine 
fine so you have a lot of flexibility in terms of celestials that's another way why i think league of order is one of the most free to play friendly faction because you have a lot of heroes to utilize all the benefits for the league of order you have amazing troop type which is celestial which will be working totally fine for you and i guess that's the main reason why i think league of order is one of the most free to play friendly faction in terms of uh, uh, wilderberg special unit if you are marksman and especially if you are playing with long range warfare you are going to have a lot of fun with the wyvern riders well, way before when we didn't have long range warfare well i will mention that long range warfare is giving uh, marksman units the same range as late as a mages it gave it uh, give the wyvern a lot more flexibility and a lot more power in terms of fighting right uh, we have a one big no simply because marksmen are the slowest march speed uh, units in the game which gonna mean like even though y when riders are flying units they will be the one of the slowest special units flying units in the whole game in terms of hero pairs which will work fine we don't have a lot of flexibility in terms of y simply because i think i still think that craig and thea is the only uh, good choice to utilize the wyverns simply because uh, Thea is giving so much buffs to Craig and Craig is also flying hero I understand it's epic one but you are getting so much buffs to the Craig that it kind of feels that you are having two legendary heroes uh, we I still see, think that we still need to have more uh, marksman flying heroes well I understand we have Fragar but everybody will uh, like uh, everybody is on my on my idea that uh, Fragar is amazing with Syndrion and you don't need to break that hero pair because Syndrion and Fragar is still one of the best marksman hero pairs in the whole game that's why I think Wyvern Riders will be second place, the first one will be uh, like Celestials and the third one will be uh, Forest Eagles now it's time to, for us to speak about the starting heroes for every single faction because if you are starting the game it's really important to understand that starting heroes matter because that will be the first heroes who you are going to awaken and also the first heroes who you are going to play the game with right so let's start with spring wardens gwenwin i think gwenwin is totally fine she's not the best one she's not the worst one she's better than average i like that gwenwin as a marksman hero has a precision talent because i think that uh, for marksman heroes precision talent tree is the best talent tree you are going to use uh, on a marksman legion and also the main idea about Gwenwin is that she is really really helpful for behemoth fights because whenever you're gonna awaken Gwenwin she has a poison on her awakening skill and whenever enemy has a high amount of HP you are getting a lot of benefits with the poison because poison is taking damage more health the enemy has more taking damage you are going to apply and more damage you're gonna do in general that's why I think uh, Gwenwin is the best like better than average not the best one not the worst one but still uh, like for the starting uh, hero it can be fine if you are playing with marksman right but still as i have mentioned spring wardens is mainly for cavalry so it's pretty weird that starting hero is marksman and the uh, infection is more specialized with cavalry right for the league of order i think uh, for the starting hero with this three uh, Walder is the best starting hero you can have in the game uh, i think the Walder is the best epic hero in the whole game uh, and also like it's pretty easy to understand League of Order is mage in affection Walder is mage and Celestials are mages right another reason which I think is important that same for the uh, precision and marksman for the mage heroes skill talent tree is the best talent tree you can have uh, in general because mage heroes are specialized with their skills because that's how they are dealing damage and when you're gonna when you, when you have a chance to upgrade your skills uh why like skill damage factors magic skill damage factors you are going to do that so there is almost everything which is connected to Walder and League of Order and the Celestials and the Faction bonuses for the Legion Magic Defense 3% which simply will make Walder the best epic hero, best starting hero in the whole game uh, for now because we still have 3 factions which we are hoping to have way more the next one 
for the Wilderberg we have Bahar and uh, like actually I think Bahar is the worst one in this tree only good use of the Bahar would be to put him on the garrison when you don't have any other garrison uh, heroes like I understand there is Garwood but I don't think Garwood is a correct choice because you don't want to have healing for your garrison because you are going to fill up your hospital more and more you will, you will have a lot more dead troops if you have uh, Garwood as your uh, garrison on leader that's why if you don't have anything else besides Bahar that's how you are going to use Bahar as a garrison leader Bahar doesn't have any healing it has more of a damage reduction and tankiness but still if we're gonna compare Bahar to Waldir Bahar to Gwenwin I think Bahar will be the last choice in terms of starting a hero uh, which will be useful only for a couple of heal levels until you will have better heroes to replace Bahar because Yet again, I will mention that Wilderberg is more specialized with the marksman uh, playstyle rather than infantry, right? So, the, like for the starting factions, the best one would be the Walder, the second one would be the Gwenwin, and third one would be the Bahar. In terms of late game, I think for the late game, you have to think about your gameplay, how you are playing, which heroes you have. Like, if you have like more mage heroes in your playstyle, you are going to play with League of Order because you want to have more mages you will have more magic defense benefits you will uh, apply your celestials more to your heroes if you have if you are cavalry playstyle player you have more cavalry legendary heroes and you like spend your legendary tokens for emery's and you have emery's awakened of course you are going for spring warden but i need to say that one more time if you are not spending in this game if you don't have tier 5 cavalry units or even special units i wouldn't recommend to run sprig wardens at all in terms of Wilderberg in a late game if you are a marksman player you have a lot of marksman legendary heroes and in general you like marksman playstyle you are going to play with Wilderberg simply because you will have one more uh, marksman uh, troops which you're gonna apply with for example Craig and Thea which is totally fine like it's pretty surprising I'm playing in season sub 2 and it's like pretty often that my Craig and Thea has the highest amount of merits from the fights like 20,000 25,000, 90,000 so like in the mass fights Craig and Thea is pretty amazing and you will have a lot of fun I will say from my own experience. Now, this is like all the tips I wanted to speak about factions like I have heard a lot of noises that factions don't have identity which I think is totally wrong. A factions determine what's gonna be your playstyle, which kind of heroes you are going to use, which kind of troops you are going to use and which kind of um, rest search you are going to do if you're gonna if you are just a free to play player like me and you are going to upgrade every single legion type hero like the same time you won't gonna have at least one troop type which is strong enough so you will have fun in this game as always share your opinion that's my opinion about the game and whenever i'm making videos like i always think about from my own perspective and i all i'm always always interested about yours if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck